So it's beautiful weather today. We got rain all day, wetness everywhere. So I've just decided to come in the garage and do a simple or fairly simple rim swap. Uh, these are the wheels, or this this is a wheel from the 46 Superb. Um, I've already actually done the front wheel, as here is the front wheel's rim, and here is the front wheel, all now with the stainless rim inside it, and it was a pretty easy job to do. Um, I just managed to lay them side by side and swap the spokes over one by one. And honestly, it was a lot easier than I was expecting. Um, all the spokes, all the nipples in that rim were free to move. Um, and it was a lot easier than taking the whole wheel apart and starting, from, starting again. So I'm going to do the same thing on this one and show you how I did it. Um, obviously this is only going to work with the same style rim, the same, um, what do you call it? effective rim diameter, the ERD, um, so the spokes have to be, you know, required the same length. So, where's my rim? So I've got my new rim here. My spoke hole is at this side. So I'm going to line my spoke hole up. And so let's just have a quick look at the drilling of the, of the rim. So you notice with most rims, they are drilled off centre. Um, obviously, you can see, you can vaguely see the centre line of the rim, and some of these holes are below, and some of these holes are above. So it's working out which ones are which. Okay, so I think it's clear to see there. We've got this stripe, this bright stripe that's running round, which we can use as a reference. This hole here is touching that on the bottom whereas that is slightly above it so I'm gonna go by that hole is the upper half and this hole is the lower half that hole is higher that hole is lower that hole is lower that hole is higher so it's the same drilling so I should just be able to swap these rims just like this and that's what you need to check um, I'm going to work with these upper holes first, where are they? So we're going to go this one, this one, and just work our way around. But hopefully, if we go take this spoke out here, put it in here, and then go around, we should end up with a nice rim swap without having to take the rim apart, take the whole wheel build apart. So, I've already checked the spokes, three were seized, which I had to unfortunately cut, even after soaking them in penetrating oil and what have you. So, Take that spoke out, put it up here, and put it in, just loosely, and then we're going to go around the whole rim and do that. So you notice there I obviously missed one because that one's on the lower side and I'm not doing that side yet. Just do one side at a time. Okay, top tip before you start, <laughs> as I found out halfway through doing it this way, doing it horizontally, cable tie the rims together um, and then it stops them falling apart and it makes it a heck of a lot easier.
and I'm back. So yeah, that one side is done. Obviously both sides of the rim are now floppy as anything. I've got one spoke on this side that I need to replace, but I can't get to it at the moment because the cog's on there, it's a threaded cog. So uh, I'm gonna have to do that when I surface it. The other side has, from what I can remember, two broken spoke or seized spokes. So this side is gonna be the same. I'm just gonna be working one at a time. Um, I think you look in here. So I'm gonna take that spoke out, put it in here, and eventually this bottom rim should drop away. It's just gonna be awkward now because everything's all floppy this way I'm doing it. And this is just gonna be a shot of my hand. Um, actually it's best to start with the other one. Otherwise I'm gonna be crossing. And it's not gonna be good. Okay, so both sides are laced up now, so I should just be able to snip these cable ties and that bottom rim drops away and my light's faded. Great. Okay, so with my light gone, it's a little bit more difficult, but I see the new stainless rim is on there now. So all you've really got to do is, in theory, if they're exactly the same, wind them up to the exact points they were before, and it should be good, but you're gonna to have to put them in a um, truing stand or put it in your bike and true it up and then check everything is taut and tensed up. So I'm just literally gonna go around this now and hopefully put these back to where they were and originally these spokes were ground down on top so the nipples have been ground so if I do them flush in theory they'll be good but like the front wheel it needed a bit more adjustment I'm, I'm going to join you in a sec. <laughs> okay, so that's roughed in now. Um, I've still got three spokes to replace. I've still got the hub to service and I've got everything to clean because I didn't really do that thoroughly before. Um, but the rim is replaced. That was the main goal of today. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's actually not too hard to do if you just cable tie the two matching rims together and then just swap one side at a time you can end up fairly simply fairly simply, is that a word? Um, swapping a rim so I've swapped out that rusty like hole in it rim um, for this stainless rim and it's gone quite well apart from those three spokes being seized um, and as I said you do ideally or really need to go through now and check all the spoke tensions, all the alignments, so you stick it in your stand. Like I've got a spoke here that's definitely loose. Um, a couple of spokes there. There's, there's all sorts of tensions in there at the moment. So I need to go through it now once I've put those replacement spokes in, make sure it's all running true and make sure the tensions are roughly the same. Um, but yeah, it's a nice simple rim swap for this rainy day. So I hope this little technique will come in useful. I definitely did not steal the idea from um, Adele. Definitely didn't. Um, so yeah, 
I hope you enjoyed it. Um, try and get out in the rain, maybe, if I can, and film some more rides. Maybe with drone, probably not with drone. But yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying those rides. Um, and uh, I need to technically get back to work because I'm working from home. So, catch you in the next one.